All right. Warhammer, Age of Sigmar, Mighty Battles in an Age of Unending War. I got this for my birthday. And I guess I wanted to do an unboxing so I could prolong the pleasure of opening it up because I've never played Age of Sigmar and I've been waiting to take the plunge and you know, it just seemed like the right time to get into it. This is actually, uh, an, I think, one of the first starter sets. Um, it, I think it, I'm not really sure what the factions are, to be honest. Uh, I know one faction are the Stormcast Eternals. I guess we can read the back here. i just read it out loud. Chaos tyrants dominate the mortal realms. Sigmar, Stormcast Eternals will cast them down or die in glory. Uh, the Citadel miniatures in this box set capture the struggle in magnificent detail. Alongside these two exceptional armies, there's a wealth of information available to help you build your own stunning collection. The miniatures in this box represent the first armies to clash in the Age of Sigmar. Lord Vondas and his Brotherhood of Stormcast Eternals and the violent slaughterers of Korgos. Coles Gortide. Warhammer's Age of Sigmar also includes a guide on how to play games with your new collection, pitting the two forces against each other in a fun and exciting tabletop war game that casts you as a commander in an, ep in an epic com uh, combat. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty awesome. Get this really cool. It's probably going to take me a, a while to paint all of these. Um, but yeah, I've, I've had a Warhammer fantasy and Warhammer 40k starter sets, but this is my first Age of Sigmar, so I just thought I'd open it up, see what it's like. So, get this plastic off. Sorry for the crappy camera work. The Stormcast Eternals are just so cool, and um, I think it's kind of neat now. I know these are like, I don't know if they're Chaos Warriors, but they're definitely um, Corn Worshippers, one of the, uh, the Ruinous Powers. So, just open this up. A lot of sprues with uh, figurines. These are molds. And they're not printed. Um, I really prefer miniatures that are uh, molds and not printed. So you got your, your bases. Nice big bases. To start a set, you get these um, range measures. <laughs> you have a, a cat over there. And, um, Looks like these are, and you can't really see the detail. So it's not much to see other than that it's the um, Stormcast Eternal on one side and the um, Worshippers of Corn on the other. So, just gonna get these out of here. Oh my gosh. Kitty. This cat's name is Goblin, by the way. I'm just gonna put these molds. Oh, so they have the like a really big base is um separate. Some of these really neat big miniatures. I mean, you really this is not the best uh, um, visual, but I mean, if you can see, they kind of remind me of rat ogres. If you know Warhammer Fantasy, they look like the rat ogres. Get another base. Of course, the dice. Some looks like some decals. Another base. 
this kitty. No kitty. Kitty. For sure she sees them. Box opportunity. More decals. This was sticking on the back of the box. Two things of decal. And then we have this um, uh, Age of Sigmar starter book. Um, I actually like that it's a bigger book. Some of the other starter sets, they started to get, uh, I don't know, lower quality. It felt like it was glossy print, but it felt like it was printed on like magazine paper. Like it had the texture and weight of a magazine paper. This, this doesn't feel like that. This actually feels, um, to stop that that might yep that's definitely an important piece we have a follower of corn's head somehow came off and a little this is exciting content right now isn't it I get these out of here um one second we have looks like this is a lore book it's a booklet i should say very thin um black and white print and includes assembly instructions for all the miniatures. And we have a, a booklet. Looks like this is more of a, a reference card. It's just two pages. Maybe it's quick start rules. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not completely sure yet. Yeah, looks like it's quick start rules. And then the main book, so if I can push back and zoom out. Some great art in here. Oh, see that? Yeah, it's not that. Wow, that's one of, like, one of my favorite parts of Warhammer is these, is the great art and the lore. Honestly, wow, this is, this is really cool. Um, this is my favorite part of the game. I think is the is the lore and the novels and the. All right, I'm totally gonna enjoy this. So, yeah, put that back. Make sure it is in here. These decals. And then we got these molds. I'm really concerned that one of the heads fell off. That was close. And it's one of the, I don't know if you can see, it's one of the, probably can't see, but it, well, Maybe it'll show up a little bit. The followers of corn, their horned helmet. Now I might set this aside and make sure I don't lose that. That's very, it's like putting a puzzle together and then, you know, realizing that you're missing one piece. That sucks. I had a Warhammer fantasy starter set a long time ago. And um, they didn't give me bases. It was really frustrating. So I'm gonna put the lid back on. And hopefully that was an experience. Thank you very much.